Hello my fellow strugglers, and at today's class at Genshin Academy will be about Razor's abilities, builds, and lore. Razor, who is abandoned at a really young age and raised by wolves that reside in Wolvendom of Mondstadt, he was taught how to hunt with his fellow brothers and sisters and survive the outside world. Probably one of the best four stars you could have in early or endgame, as his playstyle is very simple but quite effective. That's why most players used to main him. In the early days, they just used to be everywhere, like holy. So we'll go over the lore first, followed by combat, constellations, and builds. So if you enjoy this video or find it useful, you can hit that like, subscribe, and maybe share this with your friends, as it would help me out very much. Let's get started, shall we? Abandoned as an infant, taken in by the wolf of the north, and raised by his wolf pack in the Wolvendom, Razor has grown into a young, white-haired male with pale, scarred skin and red blood eyes, as he has some sort of albinism. I guess that's why some of the hunters of Springfield or the citizens of Mondstadt call him as a wolf spirit. Some wonder if the wolf boy has a home, but Razor is most at home in the wild, fighting with claw and fangs, prowling the forest where he and his wolf pack hunt to survive using more than their animal instincts. With many stories of this fast blur, wolf boy with great speed and unhuman senses that reside in Wolvenum caught the tall man's intention to see this wolf spirit that he kept on hearing. Upon meeting Razor, the tall man smiled, greeted and extended his hand out to the young boy as to give him a chance to return to Mondstadt. But Razor and his pack thought it was a threat, but the tall man just stands there unfazed, but still smiling and hand extended. It took him a minute to figure out that this man isn't a threat. So Razor took his hand and went with him to Mondstadt. For a few months, the tall man trained him how to use a claymore like a professional, and also taught him how to speak certain words. Razor's first word was friend, while second or third was either his name, Razor, or Lupical. But he was most confused on the word friend and what it meant. He tried asking, but no response. Shortly after, the tall man left for a journey, leaving Razor to be left in the hands of Lisa Mincy to teach him how to speak and cook his favorite hash browns. But soon, he would ask, what is friend? But Lisa replied with just a smile. Razor thought about it when the wind blew. When the rain fell, even when wolf hook berries got stuck in his fur, he just couldn't figure it out. Until one day, where he met Bernie Girl, named Clee. They stood in the wind together, got soaked in the rain together. She even rolled around in the wolf hook bushes with him. He felt like a wolf cub once again. Friends, is Lupical. Razor may not understand the complexity of human relationships, but he has an honest, primal loyalty to him. So, protect friends. Lupical, with life. The wolf pack howls in the distance, summoning him home. Razor still does not know if he is human or a wolf, but he is happy either way. He would go back to hunt and protect his Lupical in peace. Well, <laughs> for a while. On one stormy night, 
where the winds were harshly blowing and the rain hailed down like arrows. Razor was most likely sleeping with his lupicle during this raging storm. Razor was kidnapped from his pack by an abyss mage, who probably wanted to conduct experiments on the poor wolf pup. The pact noticed and chased the mage for minutes. The mage grew weary of this fruitless chase and decided to erase them with ease. A shackled and bound razor couldn't do anything but watch as his family was slaughtered. Fueled by this almighty fury, a lightning-like power grew inside and suddenly an overload of elemental energy was flowing with him. Razor let out an almighty roar, like that of a corner animal. Lupacol! And the shackles crumbled, summoned and raised his weapon against his prey. The abyss mage was overwhelmed and defeated by a wild, unfeathered frenzy of electro energy. But this time, it was too late to save Razor's woven companions. Though he had a obtained a vision, Razor is still unable to manipulate Electra energy with finesse. One day, many moons later, when he met the Witch of the Purple Rose, Lisa. Thus, he began to study human knowledge. Friends, hurt never again. I will protect them. With each day, Razor grew more skilled in the use of his vision. He made a silent promise to himself. I will become stronger. I'll become the strongest of them all. Because the day may come when his lupicle faces another threat. And this time, he will protect them. One day, Razor built a box so crudely that one has to be extra careful when opening it. And there lies Razor's greatest treasures. The broken off hilt of a great sword. A children's storybook, the wolf and the wind wheel aster. And a dry withered four leaf clover. Though he understands neither of the intricacies of human relations, nor the ways of the world, Razor knows that these gifts are from the ones known as friends, and that is what makes them his most treasured possessions of all. So, that will be all for his lore. Now we can actually get into the good stuff. So... Next up, Abilities and Talents. His fighting style is named Steel Fang, taught to him by his master and his lupicle to deal four consecutive strikes to his prey. The first three are fast, while his last attack is very slow. His charge attack lets him spin his sword like a rune guard, like a child that taught him that spinning is a good trick. However, his claw and thunder lets him summon a claw made of electro, slashing his prey in front of him. Upon slashing, he will gain electro sigil, which increases his energy recharge rate. But he can only have three of these electro sigils, and gaining a new electro sigil refreshes their duration. But that's not all. Upon holding your skill, gathers electro energy to unleash a lightning strike. What seems to be a 1 meter area effect, dealing large amounts of electro damage, but doing this clears your sigils and converts it into energy. His burst lets him summon the wolf within, Lightning Fang. Lightning Fang deals electro damage to nearby foes and convert Razor sigils into more energy. When it comes into form, Razor Stand fights alongside with him, boosting Razor's attack speed and electro resistance. It also causes Razor to be immune to damage inflicted by the electro charge status. 
and increases Razor's resistance to interruption. But with all these buffs, there's also gotta be a debuff, like disabling his charge attack, and when Razor leaves the field, the effect disappear, and a maximum of 10 energy is returned based on the remaining duration. Now onward, unto 5 passives. The first passive is Awakening, and it decreases the skill's cooldown by 18%, and activating Razor's Stand resets the cooldown of the skill. The second, Name Hunger, and it increases energy recharge by 30%, when Razor's energy is below 50%. The last passive, Wolven Sprint, decreases sprinting stamina consumption for your own party by 20%. Now that's over with, we can go over his Constellation. Razor's Constellation is named Lupus Minor, and it is in the shape of a wolf. The first star, Wolf's Instinct, increases Razor's damage by 10% for 8 seconds, when he picks up an elemental orb or particle. The second star, Suppression, and when enemies are below 30% of HP, crit rate is increased by 10%. A third star, Soul Companion, increases the level of Razor's Stand, Lightning Fang, by 3. The fourth star, Bite, lets enemies' defense decrease by 15% for 7 seconds when Razor uses Claw. The fifth star, Sharpen Claws, increases the level of Razor's skill, Claw and Thunder, by 3. The last and final star, Lupus Udris, activates every 10 seconds. Razor's sword charges up, causing the next damage to release a lightning that deals 100% of Razor's attack as electro damage. When Razor is not using Lightning Fang, a lightning strike on the enemy will grant Razor, Electro Sigil, and Claw and Thunder. I also forgot to mention this in my script, but um, he is safe to C6. His C4 is somewhat effective, because his skill is spammable, and you could always have C4 defense reduction on your enemies for the duration of his cooldown, which is pretty good, but um... Yeah, on my part, I think he is safe to C6. Um, you could get him during these months or during limited banners. Anyways, that's all. Sorry for bothering. Now that's actually over with, we can actually get to the good, good part. Builds. To my knowledge, there are only one build that is compatible with Razor. The physical DPS main. But, before we go over his builds, I want to save the players who got him in early game, and what artifacts to bear. You can either equip Berserker for crit rate, Braveheart, or... Sojourn? So Sojourn? So... Whatever that word means for attack percentage. Or Martial Artist for attack and charge attack bonus. You can try to mix these together in and do a little research by watching this video up in the corner. Anyway, with the build, the physical DPS main weapon being Sawn of Broken Pines, with the replacements being Wolf's Gravestone, Serpent's Spine, and Snow Tomb Star Silver. The artifact set is 4-piece Pale Flame, but you could change this to 2-piece Bloodstain, 2-piece Pale Flame, or 4-piece Gladiator or two-piece glider with two-piece thundering fury or four-piece thundering fury these are good choices for razor so feel free to build them in any way with these artifacts but onwards what the main stats are sans attack percentage goblet physical damage bonus circlet crit rate or crit damage with the substats being attack percentage crit rate crit damage and energy recharge well I believe this was a very short video, even though it took me two weeks to write this script because I was too lazy to, um, write the lore. Okay, my fellow strugglers, this will be the end of this class. 
I would say Razor is very useful in early stages or endgame, since it can carry you all the way. Probably most of the Genshin community was a Razor main at one point in the game, because he's very and pretty simple to play. And we Genshin players have something that we can relate to, Razor. Not showering your whole life. Anyway, that will be all for today. If I missed or screwed up anything, go ahead and tell me in the comments, as criticism is allowed in this series. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and like, subscribe, and maybe share this with your friends. It would help me out a lot. Please, please do it. Have a nice day, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.